Hello everyone, Coach Robert here with another chess study. This has become one of my more recent favorites after one of my students shared it with me. He found this puzzle at the back of Leslo Pulgar's famous 5334 chess puzzles book. It was the book that uh, Leslo Pulgar used to train his daughters all to become very great chess players. It, it was a super famous example. And so this was the last puzzle in that book. And it's unique for, for two reasons. Number one, it's tricky and it's at the end of a very big book. Second unique thing is that this pattern, which I've drawn with the green arrows, was actually drawn on the board in the picture. So there was some insignia that was supposed to look like a rook. It looked more like a rook in the actual book. Um, I tried to reproduce it. And this is some kind of hint. The other hint was that it's checkmate in two. That's a lot more direct. So with these two hints, you guys should be able to figure out what move white ought to play. But it is a quite devilish checkmate in two puzzle. It took me not very much time to solve it, but it really did stump my student. So I think it will be valuable for you guys to pause the video and think it over. If you really want to improve, give it your best shot before you unpause and hear the answer. Okay, so... It's checkmate in two, and usually when we're thinking it's checkmate time, we look for checks. But here we don't have any checks. That's one of the challenges for a more novice player. Usually we think about check for checkmate, and other options don't occur to us. Checkmate in two means we have to make a move, they move, and then we give a checkmate, right? Sometimes your opponent has to move in order for you to be able to give a checkmate. So thinking about what would I do if I could go twice in a row is not always going to solve a checkmate and two puzzle for you. If you were thinking about just making two moves in a row for white to try to find your answer, I recommend pausing again and trying to solve it one more time. But the answer has to do with this shape, okay? So the shape looks like a rook, and there's only one thing that is not fitting in this shape, and it's the queen. That's a big hint. The other hint, if I had to give a hint to some student who was attempting to solve it, is... We can't win this position by brute force. We would actually like to pass the turn to black. Black is in Sukhsvang. They don't have any good move. Imagine if it was black to play. They can't move these pawns. They would have to move one of these rooks. But if they move the rook, checkmate will ensue. Depending on where they move the rook. So, let's say that we make some lackluster move like f7. After f7, they would probably play rook a4, and now white will definitely win the game, but they would have won the game in any form. Like, they could promote to a queen, they could do anything, they have a huge advantage. But it will not be checkmate in two. And since we know that it's a checkmate in two puzzle, this is unacceptable. The way that the game would go from here is probably with queen takes a4, this is move two, there's no checkmate. We'll probably checkmate next turn with queen d4. So rook a4 is a successful stall. It turns out that after d7, we have the same problem, rook a4, delaying checkmate. But there is something promising about this position. If you play a move other than rook a4, it will be checkmate in one turn. For example, f7 or d7, if they play a move like rook takes g5, we could play the move g4, mate. And there are similar checkmates for other moves. Like if they play rook takes c5, c4 is mate, discover attack. So we would like to make them play some unfavorable move with the rooks in order to make a discovered check checkmate. And now, you, now we can use the hint about this rook pattern, right? The only piece that doesn't fit the pattern is the queen. So queen b2 comes to mind. This move would complete the rook shape. But why is it going to lead to a checkmate is the next question, even if you figured that out from the clever hint. If they, first of all, they can't play rook a4 anymore. If they play rook a4, then c4 is checkmate in two moves. If they play a move with this rook, we get to use that same checkmate that we saw in the other variations, g4. And if they try to attack the queen with rook b4, we can take with the pawn, discover check, checkmate. So this is basically the answer, queen b2, and then any move that black plays loses on the spot. So I really like this puzzle. I thought it was cute that it had this uh, rook pattern and you had to have to kind of fill in the blank in order to solve it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that too. And stay tuned for my next video about studies.